Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron and today's unboxing which is the September, I believe this is the September, um, Geek Gear Wizardry subscription box. So this is a monthly subscription box, um, it is £24.99 plus postage to wherever you happen to be um, internationally. Um, this as I said is a monthly box. Um, the other boxes they do, they have Geek Gear Wizardry wearables, they do a regular Geek Gear, I think they have Geek Gear wands, uh, they do limited edition boxes for Wizardry, they do special edition boxes for Wizardry as well, so they've got quite a selection and they've also got a shop where you can buy individual items. Um, but let's get into the box. So as I said, I think this is the September box. Um, I'm not 100% sure, it's nearly the end of October, so I think it is September and I think October hasn't arrived yet. I may be wrong, we will find out. So let's get in to the box. So first little look, I don't think I'm gonna like the t-shirt purely because it's a white t-shirt um, and I just don't wear white t-shirts really. So I wear darker color t-shirts. So it has on it postal service delivered by owl and it's uh looks like a howler on there not a fan of that um really primarily because it is a white t-shirt um but yeah just not sure about that one but i'm if you've seen my other videos i'm never often a fan of the t-shirts so that is no surprise <laughs> okay next item amongst lots of uh blue padding because i am a ravenclaw so it's padded with blue we have something in a packet that looks like a Whomping Willow, by the look of it. It might be a tote bag, I love me a tote bag. Is a tote bag, yeah! So we've got a tote bag with the Ford Anglia in it, um, trapped in the Whomping Willow. So I do, I will use that because I do like a good tote bag. Never have too many tote bags. I say that I probably do have too many tote bags but you know you can never have too many anyway I'm gonna try and put that back in the bag so we've got that then we have a little box that's a gifty type box there's no clue on there so let's see what it is it is oh, what is this mm, it looks like it's meant to be some sort of potion bottle okay so we've got ooh, it's quite weighty so I don't recognize this other than it looks like the philosopher's stone on the top so you've got sort of that and then it comes with a little can't get it out of the bubble wrap it's stuck there we go and then it's got sort of this kind of caged thing I don't know it's maybe just a generic potion bottle I'm not sure um but yeah that'd be quite cool for when I eventually get my potions display together then uh, I can put that in it I think that is meant to be philosopher's stone related unless I'm forgetting something really blatant from the books or films then we have a wand so these are the unique ones there trying not to get it reflecting so these aren't character ones these are um i can't remember if these are still designed by sort of fans um but yeah these are sort of fan designed or sort of at least sort of designed by the team um at geek gear um so We've got a pearl on the end. Sorry, I've got hair right across my face. Um, so, ooh. so we've got a pearl at the end with sort of this green sort of top. Then we've got some lighter wood with sort of patterning on there and then dark wood. It's quite a thin wand at the end. I'm not sure how much of a fan of that wand I am. No. I'm not sure about that one. Um, in there, there should be a little flyer thing that says what wand type it is somewhere. 
So then we have a pin. So we have the monthly pin, um, which is a little glittery blue dough sitting on some lilies. Not sure about that. I'm not, I don't know if I'm a fan of their pins. They are better than the first lot of pins they did, which were very much those kind of cartoony sort of character versions. Um, I'm not sure. This is quite cool, but I don't really like bright colours. So it's a clear lanyard um, with the Weasleys, Wizard Weezers um, sort of colouring of staff on there. Um, so you can obviously put your work pass or your school pass or bus pass or anything um, in there. Oh, I found the little card for the uh, wand. So it's called the Alpha Wand. Length 13 and 3 quarter inches, acromantula hair core and wood is willow. And then da, 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 we have the usual monthly scratch card, which I will give that a go later because I do not like scratching them off in the slider. Then finally, I think the last item we have is the print. Oh, all the little blue paddingy thingies are falling out because I'm trying to get this print out. Slide it out, it. So we have a print of the Hogwarts Express there. It's all like arty, kind of oil painted sort of look print there. I do, I quite like that print actually. I do like that print. Have I got everything? I think so. So we've just got the flyer. So our social spotlight for this month is at official.casterspell. Um, and we've got various sort of advertisements there. Oh, it's the August box. Oops. So this is the August box. So, da -da -da -da, a little bit of blurb. So we've got foolish, foolish waving t-shirt. I don't have a foolish waving t-shirt. I don't think I've got the right t-shirt. Then we've got a licensed and exclusive Quidditch. Well, I think I've got, maybe they put the wrong flyer in because then it says licensed and exclusive Quidditch World Cup print, wizardry apothecary themed socks, unique wands exclusive obelisk wand, wizardry wand store tote shopping bag. I do have a tote shopping bag, but it's not a wizardry wand store one. Wizardry relic chess piece, nope. And then seven exclusive monthly pin dragon and egg pin. So I have the August flyer, but not the August box. So I may have to have a brief interlude, which I'm going to go do now. And I'm going to go and try and find the box that has these items in and see if it's got the same flyer or it's just completely wrong. But anyway, I will be back very, very shortly. So I have managed to dig out another box. So let's see if this is the August box, because actually what was written on that August flyer actually sounded pretty good. So, da da. That looks like a very good sign. Okay, so first image looks like no foolish wand waving. So it's a green t-shirt, a bit different. I can't remember when we last had a green t-shirt. So it says no foolish wand waving. And so it's got a hand doing, excuse me, some sort of spell. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I don't know, I'm undecided whether I like that t-shirt or not. So we have the t-shirt then, okay. We have the chess piece. I do love a good chess piece. I'm wondering what flyer is gonna be in here. Maybe it's gonna be the same flyer and it's gonna be the August flyer and it's just that the wrong flyer was put in the September box. So I wasn't wrong, it was the September box. So we have the, is that the queen? The white queen? I do love a good chess piece, love them. I actually managed to dig out. I'm not sure if anyone else got this, probably, but way back when I was probably, how old would I have been? Ooh, I was probably like 16, 17, maybe younger. I can't remember. So 16, 17 would have been like 2006 and before. So 2006, 
or earlier. They used to do a magazine, which was the Harry Potter Wizard Chess magazine. And every week you got a magazine which taught you how to do the chess moves and you got a chess piece. So by the end of it, you had an entire chess set. I found mine the other day at my parents' house. So uh, it's just been under a bed for however many years. So I'll have to dig that out one day and actually play it. Anyway, I digress. So do love a good chess piece. Um, so the pin, as it said, it is dragon with egg. Yeah, not sure about that, um, that one. So I think that's that kind of annual series is ending at the end of this year. Oh, I've got a little bit of a crushed box. I've got some very crushed box. So we've got their unique ones box. It's a bit, a bit dishevelled there. Slash a bit of it's just fallen off. So this is the obelisk wand. So I'm not sure about the colours, but it is pretty cool. So it's got like the obelisk type of look there. Ta -da. With like gold and something is moving over next to me, which is slightly worrying. Nothing alive. Don't worry. It's a uh, bag. <laughs> it's just the bag that I took this out of. It's just falling down. Right. Oh, there appears to be a hole in the end of this thing this box is just not doing very well yeah not sure about that wand then we have the tote bag da, 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 da. how do I get into the tote bag so what's that was it magical Magical shop? Oh, it looks like Ollivander's. Just. It's basically a staircase. That's a bit distracting. I wouldn't have instantly gone, ah, yes, Ollivander's. All I'm seeing is a giant staircase. Um, then we have a pair of socks. What's on these? Black socks, so I'll probably wear them. It's... In all honesty, I wouldn't have said that that's very good quality printing. Like it's quite, they're obviously magical objects. I think it said apothecary, but it's, yeah, they're not very obvious. They're not very vibrant pictures, I wouldn't have said. So that's a little bit of a letdown on the socks. Um, so I've just found the obelisk wand label so length 13 and three quarter inches they all seem to be 13 and three quarter inches topaz dust core and wood is maple then we've got the scratch card right then we have the print oh this is a bit more substantial print and it's in a frame so let's have a look i do like it when they come pre-packaged in a frame um the only problem is that i had intended on doing like black frames on my eventually when I get around to sort of doing my wall of prints and stuff um, but I've now decided to do white frames so it's good that you get a frame included with this which is pretty cool um, but it's not white <laughs> so it's whether I have random dark frames or I have to change the frames on these um, so we've got the 422nd Quidditch World Cup print in frame there i can't be bothered to try and put it back in the bubble wrap so we'll leave it out so have i got everything so basically it's the same flyer so it is the august flyer so we've got the foolish waving t-shirt the quidditch world cup print the apothecary themed socks the obelisk wand the wizardry wand store tote bag the relic chess piece and then the dragon and egg pin so this is the august box that was obviously the september box and i've just got the wrong flyer in it um but yes so that was as it turns out the august and the september box for you um i basically what i've decided with geek gear is that i have been getting these boxes for a very long time i think i first started getting these boxes back in 2016 possibly so I've been getting them for quite a few years. I, I actually started getting them, I think, 
three months after they started. I think I only missed the first few months. That was it. So it was either like two or three months I missed and I then started getting these boxes. So I have been getting them since the beginning. Um, it's, it's a good value box in terms of it's probably one of the lowest priced um, like mystery boxes. Um, which is really good. So it's really good value for money. The number of items you get in the box for that money is such good value. But the problem I have is that I'm finding um, more and more with mystery boxes is that I'm getting so many items that actually I'm not interested in. That's the reality, is I'm not interested in them. So although it's good value for money in terms of the number of items, what the items are, and how much you're actually paying for the box on a monthly basis, if you're not enjoying the items, then they're not good value. So I think with Geek Gear, I've kind of, it's run its course a little bit for me. Um, so I have decided that at the end of this year, I'm gonna stop getting Geek Gear boxes. Um, so I think I've got the October one is on its way, then the November one will be their usual sort of annual festive one um, for sort of the Christmas holidays um, and then they'll do a December box and I think after that I'm going to stop subscribing to Geek Gear. That's just my personal choice um, because I'm, you may like these items which is really great if you do like those but I'm actually finding that I'm not anymore it's it's very rare in these boxes there might be one maybe two items that i actually really like in these boxes um but most of the time i don't and i'm i'm a bit like if i wouldn't wear it or display it or use it if it's something usable then it's not worth my money um i have i get other subscription boxes and so actually Although it is good value for money, I could be using that money and putting it towards one of these other subscription boxes, um, which although are more expensive, um, particularly with like shipping because of where they come from, that's thing. Luckily, I have the advantage that with this box as well, I am UK based and they are based in Scotland. Um, so we're based in the same country, which means that it's the postage to get this to me is quite cheap. <laughs> um, so other boxes are coming from America, Canada, things like that. So the shipping does cost more. So it is a more expensive box for me, but the items I enjoy more. I'm more likely to put them on display. I'm more likely to use them. Um, so for me, that's where I'm sort of weighing up on these boxes is that that's the driver for me. Um, so that is what my plans are in terms of the Geek Gear boxes. So as I said, I'm probably planning on doing these, um, sticking with them just till the end of the year, just to complete that year, um, to complete the pin set, which I don't know why I'm bothering because I'm not a massive fan of them anyway. Um, but after that, I will probably be stopping uh, my Geek Gear Wizardry subscription, which is such a shame because as I said, I have been subscribed since pretty much the beginning. Um, and yes, it will be a, a bit of a shame um, to stop getting it. But as I said, for me, it's no longer good value for money just because I don't like enough of the items. So I'm paying a lot for either no items um, that I like or I'm paying a lot for maybe one item that I actually like which is a real shame but what I will probably do is I will keep an eye on their website I get their emails and everything like that with products they've got so I think all the items in the boxes do appear in the shop so actually that's probably what I'm going to start doing in the future is that if I see something I particularly like in a future box I will probably just buy it from their website um, the items from the shop are slightly more expensive to buy them individually you don't get the the sort of the value of getting them all in a mystery box um but i will probably then just pay the extra to get them from the shop um individually because then that's for me personally that is the best um and most cost effective way of doing it because then i can pick what i do and don't like and i'm only then getting the items i actually do like um, so, a little bit of a long ramble there to just explain that I'm no longer going to be subscribing to this box from the new year. Um, but yes, anyway, I hope you did enjoy what was in this box. Let me know down below in the comments what you liked um, the most, whether you subscribe to these boxes, whether you subscribe to that Harry Potter chess set back in 2006. Um, <laughs> 
and still have your chest set. Um, and yeah, let me know um, down in the comments, anything like that. Um, and do give this a thumbs up and um, subscribe. And I will see you in my next unboxing. Thanks for watching. Bye.